everybody and welcome back to another episode of Win Stuff. I hope you all missed us because we sure missed you. But we are going to jump right back in with Catherine from Fisai Cly and Brandon from the bookstore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Catherine, you can go first, to tell me um, your major, where you're from, and a fun fact about yourself. All right, so I'm Catherine and I'm from New Jersey. My major is strategic communications. And a fun fact about me is that I really like tacos. Tacos? Yes. I do also like tacos. I could really get behind that. But who has the best tacos in your opinion? I like Moe's. Okay. I think they're really good. But I also do like places that are like, you know, original. Not yeah. necessarily a chain, but. Okay. I like that. I can vibe with it. Brandon, same questions. Um, major, where you're from, and a fun fact about yourself. Yeah, so I'm from Goldsboro, North Carolina, which is about two hours east from here. And my majoring is Stratcom and Cinema and Television Arts. And I guess the fun fact is more for the viewers than it is for us three. <laughs> but the first time I ever met Kennedy actually was, I was in the fellowship with her. And how I introduced myself was I said, my car caught on fire over the summer down the Washington freeway at 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> that sparked a wonderful friendship. It really did, um, because then we suffered through math together for a semester. What a time to be alive. Um, <laughs> real, truly. <laughs> but I will never forget that introduction, because there is no way to top that. I mean, burning a car is your first introduction. Amazing, immaculate. <laughs> but all right. So what we're, we're just going to jump right into the game. Uh, but for the viewers at home who might not know how to play, we have three categories here, TV, music, and movies. Catherine, since or music, TV, and movies, my fault. But Catherine, since you are in front of me and closest to me, you will get to go first. Um, pick a question, buzz in, answer. You do have hint tokens as well. These can be used whenever you might not know the answer. Um, it gets you a hint and an additional 10 seconds to answer. Make sense? All right, so Catherine, pick a question. Um, Bazinga. Which Big Bang Theory star has just dyed his hair blonde for a magazine cover? Five seconds. Brandon? Jim Parsons. Correct. So when I was, as I was reading that, I was concerned that it was going to be, has just died. <laughs> and I was like, video, like, oh no! <laughs> But I was wrong, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> but Brandon, pick a question. Um, let's do stitches. Whose upcoming documentary being uh, is being called In Wonder? Catherine? Sean Mendez. Correct. Pick again. Switch. What artist released her album Positions on October 30th? Brandon. Ariana Grande. Correct. Personally, my favorite off of that album is um, POV. Hmm. I really like POV. <laughs> well, I have to give it a listen. I think, I think it's worth a listen. I really enjoyed it. But Brandon, pretty good. <laughs> Let's do real. Which Dancing with the Stars contestant was sent home for emergency health reasons? Five seconds. I'm gonna use a hint. All right. She is a talk show host on the show, The Real. Catherine? Jeannie Mai. Correct. I was very sad because I really liked her performance, but also I'm a huge fan of Justina Machado and I really want Team Locomotion to win. I voted like 10 times for her. I was like, she must win. So, very pumped. <laughs> Catherine, pick again. Ouch. Which member of 1D just came out with a Christmas song featuring Dixie D'Amelio? Catherine? Louis Tomlinson. Incorrect. There are four more. <laughs> Am I allowed to guess again? Yeah. Catherine. Liam Payne. Correct. <laughs> I wasn't sure if we were going to like run down the list and go like Zane, I, I Harry, Niall, <laughs> then we get to Liam. <laughs> I also just impressed myself because I didn't know that I knew all five of them. But anyways. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Catherine, think again. Um, homecoming. What Marvel character just started filming their third season, or third movie? Oops. Brandon. Spider-Man. Correct. Pick again. Oh, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what recently released movie sequel sponsored CNN's 2020 election coverage? Catherine. It's slipping my mind. All right, I'm going to let Brandon go because he seems to be... There you go. Borat too? Correct. Yes. 
I nice. could picture it, built. couldn't remember the name. Yeah. <laughs> I was That's like, the, the look in your face, I was like, I know she can see it. And I was like, I really want you to get it, but oh well. It's fine. <laughs> Brandon, pick again. Let's do Expelliarmus. Which actor stepped down from his role as Grindelwald in the Fantastic Beast series? Catherine. Johnny Depp. Correct. And I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> I really loved him as Grindelwald. Yeah, I mean, sure, Crimes of Grindelwald wasn't super great, but I still enjoyed his performance. Right. So hopefully, though, we get like, um, I can't even remember his name. I can literally see him calling somebody. Colin Farrell, I believe. Oh, yeah. that'd be nice. That would be nice. I want that. Mm -hmm. um, but Catherine, pick again. Um, all right, all right, all right. Which actor wanted to play the Incredible Hulk but was passed on by Marvel? Catherine. Um, uh, Matthew McConaughey. Correct. Pick again. Um, shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, what? <laughs> what horror movie series is getting a spinoff despite the sequel having yet to be released? Catherine. A Quiet Place? Correct. Pick again. Um, Nectar. What artist recently had a one night only ticketed live stream event? Catherine. Uh, Niall Horan. Incorrect. Or at least not the answer we're looking for. I cannot <laughs> confirm or deny that statement. <laughs> All right, a hint is being used. He is known for his songs Slow, da Slow Dancing in the Dark, Give Me Love, and Sa Sanctuary. Oof. Reading is an overrated skill. Five seconds? Oh, what's that name? This is a random guess, but Sam Smith. Incorrect. I see the album cover. <laughs> Brandon, if you don't have a guess, I'm going to move on. Yeah, no, I don't have it. <laughs> All right, it is Joji. Joji? I don't know how to say that. I don't know who that is. J-O-J-I. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> um, Catherine, I think. Pick again. Um, Love in England. What new Shonda Rhimes show just released its first trailer? Five seconds. All right, I'm gonna call it, it is Bridgerton. Bridgerton? Bridgerton. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. Catherine, pick again. Dad. Which main character of the show Mom will not be returning for season eight? Five seconds? Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't know who that is. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call it. It is Anna Ferris. And with that, we are, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have six for Catherine, four for Brandon, and we will be right back with more of round two, or round one, whoops, after a quick break. and welcome back to this episode of Win Stuff with our yearbook, Phi Sci Cly and the Elon Bookstore. And Catherine, I do believe you were the last one to get a question right, so pick again. Um, prehistoric. Which movie starring Chris Pratt just wrapped filming for its third installment? Brandon. Jurassic World Dominion. Correct, wow, that was more correct than what we have down, because we oh. just have Jurassic World 3. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> No extra points for that, but kudos. Awesome, thank you. Brandon, pick <laughs> again. Um, let's see. I do. Vince Vaughn confirms a sequel for what movie that starred him and Owen Wilson? Brandon. Wedding Crashers? Correct. Pick again. King's Jig. What new Netflix series is based off of a movie Heath Ledger was supposed to direct? A hint is being used. <laughs> the show is about an orphan chess prodigy. The Netflix show, I should say. <laughs> gonna give it five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. It is the Queen's Gambit. Um, I've gotten a lot of ads for it, and like I've also seen a lot of the costume designing because um, a lot of the costuming is like checked checkered, so mm -hmm. like a chessboard. Yeah. You know? And I was like, that seems really, really cool. But I have no time to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, that's a cool thing. Anyways. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. But Brandon, pick again. Let's go spooky. What new Halloween movie is Netflix's most popular movie of 2020? I didn't ask you to try that. Oh, actually, just kidding. Catherine. Uh, Hubby Halloween. Movie? Hubby? Okay. I, was, I, I heard happy and I was like, wait. No. <laughs> but correct. <laughs> 
Jeff. I'm Jeff. Ignore me. Um, Bayside. What 90s sitcom starring Mario Lopez is getting a reboot on NBC's streaming platform, Peacock? Ah, tough. Brandon? Lopez family? Incorrect. Catherine, are you using a hint? I'm using a hint. All right. Zach Morris is a main character and he goes to Bayside High. Five seconds. I'm going to go ahead and call it with that in sync mask adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> it is Saved by the Bell. There's a really fun series online called Zach Morris is Trash that just goes through episodes of Saved by the Bell and details why Zach Morris is a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> Highly recommend. It is hilarious. Nice. But Catherine, pick again. Dog Snatcher. Who is set to star in Disney's upcoming live action movie Cruella? Brandon. Understand. Correct. Pick again. Girl Power. Uh, what DC movie is expected to push its release date back yet again into 2021? Brandon. One Roman, 1984. Correct. And pick again. Let's do Honor to Us All. Which recent Disney live action movie is set to be released on Blu-ray and DVD in the coming week? Brandon. Move on. Correct. And with that, we are out of movie <laughs> questions. All right. So, Brandon. Uh, no more. Which streaming platform is going to shut down? Going to shut down. I don't want to use it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. I'll use a hint. Okay. It launched earlier this year. It's been about a solid six months. Brandon? Is that QB? Yeah, I'll take it. Quibi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess you could say they were gone in a Quibi. <laughs> Because all of their advertising was like, you can watch it in a Quibi. Yeah. But they were gone in a Quibi. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I find myself hilarious. <laughs> Brandon, pick again. Let's do uh, football. This Netflix drama series just announced the start of filming of the start of filming for their third season. All Brandon, American? Correct. Pick again. Let's do uh, diamond earring. Which Keeping Up with the Kardashian star just celebrated her 40th birthday. Catherine. Kim Kardashian? Correct. Pick again. Dunked. Which NBA star is such a star in his own animated series? <clears throat> Yikes. Brick. Is it LeBron? Incorrect. Cool. Do you have a guess? If not, it's okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, no. All right, I'm going to call it then. It is Shaquille O'Neal, and with that, that is the end of round one. Catherine, you have eight points. Brandon, you have 11, and we will be right back with round two. and welcome back to this episode of Win Stuff featuring Phi Sci Cly, our school yearbook, and the Elon bookstore. We're going to go ahead and jump into round two, but before we do that, I'm going to ask y'all another question just to get to know y'all a little bit. So, Catherine, what's it like working at, for the yearbook? At the yearbook? For the yearbook? Either way. Um, it's, <laughs> it's great. I get to work with so many really talented people, and I get to connect with the Elon community, and it's just a great creative outlet. Awesome. And Brandon, what's it like working at the bookstore? I mean, it's a ball, yeah. I mean, it's always really fun to see the first uh, week of class coming back to schedule. You can see all these uh, new moms and dads <laughs> rushing into the bookstore. I mean, you see them arms just having shirts and everything over, just like <laughs> yelling at you for more smaller shirts. I'm like, I don't have something. And it's your first day, so it's always a good time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but all right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with round two. Uh, Brandon, you got the extra hint token in the middle since you have the most amount of points coming out of round one. Congratulations. But Catherine, since you have the least amount of points, not by a ton, but still the least, <laughs> you get to go first for this round. So we have connections and one-liners. Connections, I'll give you two celebrities. You tell me uh, what connects them. So it can be movie stars, family, things like that. Um, and then one-liners, I'll give you a quote, you tell me who said it and where it's from. Got it? Got awesome. it. Awesome. So Catherine, connection or one-liner? Connection. All right. Raven Simone and Kyle Massey. Catherine. That's a Raven. Correct. Pick again. Connection. Matthew McConaughey and Kate Hudson. Catherine. How to lose a guy in 10 days. Correct. Pick again. Connection. <laughs> 
I agree. <laughs> Amanda Bynes and Drake Bell. The Amanda Show? Correct. Pick again. Connection. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Hutchinson or Hutchinson and Jennifer Lawrence. Catherine. The Hunger Games. Correct. Pick again. Connection. <laughs> Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny. Brandon. Space Jam. Correct. Pick again. Let's do one liner. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you're really pretty. Oh. <laughs> All right. The character is this character is the leader of the plastics from a teen comedy movie. Brandon? Mean girls? Correct. Can I get a who? Oh. Can I get a person? No. <laughs> Catherine, do you know the person? Do we need the actress or the name of the character? The name of the character is fine. Well, nope, don't got it. <laughs> all right. It is Regina George from Mean Girls. Yeah, um, I can't believe I didn't get that, but it's okay. I'm a little heartbroken that you didn't, but it's fine. It's just <laughs> one of my favorite movies of all time, but whatever. <laughs> well, Brandon, pick again. Uh, let's do a connection. Rupert Grant and Emma Watson. Brandon. Is it Harry Potter? Correct. Pick again. Connection. Kendall Schmidt and Carlos Pinavega. Catherine. Big time rush. Correct. I'm so glad somebody got that. <laughs> <laughs> Makes my heart happy. <laughs> Catherine. Connection. Channing Tatum and Amanda Bynes. Five seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and call it. It is She's the Man. <laughs> I'm cool. disappointed in myself, to yeah. say the least. I know there's like a horse and a soldier, and that's the move. I don't know. I've never seen it, so I really was like, yeah, Channing Tatum. sure. <laughs> 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 Catherine, pick again. Connection. Pat, hmm, say, Sajic, <laughs> and Vanna White. <laughs> Catherine. Wheel of Fortune. Correct. <laughs> I really wasn't sure how to pronounce that. I was like, ah, we'll just guess. But Catherine. Connection. Macaulay Culkin and Joe Pesci. I'm alive. Brandon. Correct. Pick again. Connection. <laughs> Ned Flanders and Sideshow Bob. Brandon. Is that um, Groundhog Day? Incorrect. Cool. No other guesses? I'm going to go ahead and call no. it then. It's The Simpsons. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't watch The Simpsons, no, so yeah. <laughs> me neither. Uh, all right, um, Brandon. Uh, Brandon. Let's do one liner. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready, Brandon. SpongeBob. Correct. <laughs> one liner. <laughs> um, how you doing? Hmm. I definitely didn't nail the accent on that one. Brandon. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Incorrect, or at least not what we're going for. Okay. I can either confirm or deny that I've ever said it on the show. <laughs> Nothing? No. All right, it is Joey from Friends. Uh, oh, I don't watch Friends. Me either. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> All these shows, I'm just like, ah. <laughs> I'm sure that people in other places, like in the audience, are screaming at me oh, right yeah. now. Yeah, throwing your TV. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> we're gonna pick again. Uh, let's go with connection. Thing one and thing two, Brandon. Dr. Seuss's Cat in the Hat. Correct. I didn't know it. I pressed my button and didn't know it, so good you got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so we are out of connections, so we're going to move on to one-liners. That's what she said. That, that's the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call it. It is Michael Scott from The Office. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't know. I don't watch The Office. Um, okay. More of a principal at this point, and I know that people are definitely screaming at that comment. But anyways, Brandon. <laughs> oh no, I got one liner. <laughs> oh right, I ain't calling you a truther. Catherine. Drake and Josh. Correct. Can I get a who? Uh, Josh. Correct. <laughs> All right. Oh, as if. Catherine? Clueless. Correct. Can I get a who? Your face says 
No. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with, I'm not gonna get it, so. All right. It is Cher from Clueless, so. Okay. All right, um, yay me! Uh, London Tipton from Sweet Love Zach Cody. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Did you appreciate my clapping? <laughs> Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Clapping. Katy Perry. Correct. And Firework. Correct. Drifting through the wind. <laughs> I just sing it to myself. There you go. <laughs> You'll shoot your eye out. Movie. My mom loves this movie and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know if it's a slide in your mom or not. <laughs> I keep knowing the movie and not the person. Uh, sorry? I know the person. I mean, I know the movie, but not the person. Give which the seems to be. Give me the movie. No, it's okay. Now I forget it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call it then. It is Ralphie's mom, his teacher, or Santa Claus from a Christmas movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm the king of the world. Brandon. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Jack. From. Correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, I mean, I know we know it. But... Yeah. All right. And with that, that is the end of round two. Congratulations, Catherine. You are our winner with 27 points and Brandon with 24. So a pretty close race. And we will be back with our final round after a short break. everybody and welcome back to our episode of Win Stuff today. Congratulations again Catherine for being our winner. And so now we're going to move into the final round. You've already secured yourself one gift card but you now have the chance to win a second one if you um, can get 15 or more of these next questions correct. And what's going to happen is I'm going to ask you two questions and there will be 10 responses under each and um, you'll tell me yes or no and if you get again 15 or more of those correct you get an additional gift card. Make sense? Yeah. All right. So our first question is real romance book title or not? Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes. Correct. On Notting Hill. Yes. Incorrect. Downton Abbey. Yes. Incorrect. The Notebook. Yes. Correct. Fading Sunset. No. Correct. Persuasion. No. Incorrect. The Last Duchess. No. Incorrect. My Dear Fabio. No. Correct. The Bachelor. No. Correct. And Eleanor and Park. Yes. Correct. And the next one is any award-winning TV show or not. The Good Place. Yes. Incorrect. Shockingly. Parks and Rec. Yes. Incorrect. Also, again, shocked. Schitt's Creek. Yes. Correct. Star Trek. No. Correct. Euphoria. Yes. Yeah, correct. Hmm. <laughs> Saturday Night Live. Yes. Correct. Fleabag. No. Incorrect. Jane the Virgin. No. Correct. Will and Grace. Yes. Correct. Um, and New Girl. No. Correct. All right, so you got 13 out of 20 correct, so unfortunately that is not enough to get the gift card, but you are still our winner anyway, so congratulations. And Brandon, if you want to rejoin us back on the floor. Yay. <laughs> Welcome back. So how do you guys feel? How did you enjoy it? Did you like the game? Are we, did we have fun? <laughs> I had a blast. Awesome. I had fun. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so, Catherine, what is your favorite Elon event? Um, I really enjoy going, I don't know if this counts as an Elon event, but I really like going to the basketball games. I'd um, say that's an And event. so I'm excited for them to start back up soonish. Yeah. Brandon, um, what's your favorite book? My favorite book? Mm -hmm. Oh. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Okay. Uh, yeah. Tell me why. Um, I read it over eighth grade, and then it just stuck in my head. I was like, oh, this is fun. And then when I, um, last J term, I went to Florida, and hey. by the pool for like three hours, I just sat in a floaty, just rolling around the pool, just reading uh, Tale of Two Cities, and it was so satisfying. <laughs> so, fun fact, I was also on that trip, and I did not know you were reading A Tale of Two Cities. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were reading a book, but not Tale of Two Cities. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a solid choice, though. I mean, it's a really good book. But, Catherine, um, why should people work on the yearbook? Um, people should work on the yearbook because it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of different opportunities. You can take pictures, you can write, you can design. And honestly, like, I've learned so much from it. Um, and so I think it's a great way to learn new things and meet new people. All right. And, Brandon, why should people work at the bookstore? I would say to start off with, you really get to learn a lot about how to deal with people. And whenever you think, no, and, yeah, like, no, yeah, <laughs> that's that's yeah. but it's like, you, you never know how many different kinds of people are all out there. And it's like, okay, like, if I can work with these people at their most stressed, then I can handle, like, anything. So it's a nice little character development. It's 
Yeah. yeah. You'd love to see it. But all right. Thank you both so much for being on this week. It was a blast having you both on. And we will see you all next week with another special episode of Wood Stuff as it is our season finale and also our Christmas episode. So we will be very festive for you all. And we will see you all next week. To find out more about Windstuff, visit elonstudenttv.org. Thank <laughs> you.